in a scene straight out of a drama series, rapper Juvenile, best known for his hit Back That Is Up, found himself in the middle of a heated showdown with American Airlines. The flight from New Orleans to Dallas took a dramatic turn when the rapper and his wife were faced with an unexpected and unwelcome seat change. What began as a routine journey soon turned into a public spectacle, streamed live for his followers to witness. Juvenile, who was set to enjoy the comforts of first class, ended up in a confrontation that not only drew the ire of his fans but also shed light on the intricacies of airline mishaps and customer service challenges. Buckle up as we dive into the tumultuous tale of how a flight upgrade turned into a high-profile debacle. The drama unfolded on Wednesday when Juvenile, whose real name is Tyrius Gray, and his wife, Shadonna Jones, were mid-flight on their way from New Orleans to Dallas. The rapper, accustomed to the luxuries of first class, was stunned when flight attendants informed him that he would need to move to coach due to a sudden change in the aircraft. This was not just any ordinary downgrade, this was an unplanned switch that seemed to undermine Juvenile's status as a celebrity passenger. In an Instagram live session that captured every tense moment, Juvenile expressed his frustration, declaring, Man, they trying to kick me off the plane. They trying to take me off of first class. His wife joined in, questioning the fairness of the situation and highlighting the discrepancy of her remaining in first class while her husband was demoted. The rapper's visible anger was compounded by the feeling of being disrespected, leading him to assert, I'm a celebrity. There's going to be repercussions for this because I'm a get off the plane. His insistence on not accepting the downgrade led to a dramatic exit from the flight, leaving both he and his wife disembarking in protest. The incident, which Juvenile broadcasted to his 483,000 Instagram followers, quickly went viral. His second clip, which he posted after the confrontation, further fueled the public's interest. He criticized American Airlines, expressing his dissatisfaction with the treatment he received despite his history of frequent travel with the airline. His harsh words, F.K. American Airlines. All the money I spent with you bitches, underscored his disappointment and sense of being undervalued as a loyal customer. Juvenile's outspoken nature and high-profile status turned what might have been a routine seating issue into a media frenzy. American Airlines responded by explaining that the situation arose from an unplanned change in aircraft, which resulted in fewer first-class seats than originally planned. The airline spokesperson apologized for the inconvenience, noting that the downgrade was not intentional and that they were working to resolve the issue. However, despite these explanations, Juvenile remained unimpressed. His representative claimed that there was no direct communication between the airline and the rapper, which only added to the frustration. The airline's standard protocol of notifying customers in advance about such changes was clearly not followed in this case, further exacerbating the situation. The resolution of the incident remains somewhat unclear. American Airlines has stated that a team member has spoken with Juvenile's management, but there has been no confirmation of whether any financial compensation or further compensation was provided. Juvenile, meanwhile, resolved to continue his journey with a different airline, determined not to let the disruption affect his upcoming performance in Fort Worth. His commitment to the show, despite the travel hiccup, exemplifies his dedication to his craft and his resilience in the face of adversity. As the dust settles on this dramatic episode, it serves as a reminder of the challenges that come with high-profile travel and the delicate balance required to maintain customer satisfaction. For Juvenile, the experience was more than just an inconvenience, it was a public spectacle that highlighted both the frustrations of celebrity travel and the complexities of airline operations. While the rapper's bold stance may have drawn mixed reactions, it undoubtedly put a spotlight on the need for improved communication and customer service in the travel industry. As he moves on from this turbulent experience, one thing is clear, juvenile spirit remains unshaken, and his show must indeed go on.